Turning Point USA is a conservative student organization with chapters all around the country, though it touts itself as an apolitical nonprofit. Republican donors and Republican speakers play a huge role in spreading the group's overarching messages. Free speech. If you want to suppress conservatives from coming on college campuses, you do not mean well. Free market. Don't take the bait, kids. Socialism sucks. And small government. I think it's why we're going to have a tremendous victory in 2020. These people are not. But it's Turning Point USA's most unapologetic speakers take on divisive issues that have time and time again offended students and professors on the other side of the ideological spectrum. Immigration. Build the wall. Build the wall. The Me Too movement. The entire premise of Me Too is that women are stupid, weak, and inconsequential. Abortion. If you want to continue to give $500 million a year to Planned Parenthood, you do not mean well. But you don't have to agree with everything to be a member of the group. You just have to be willing to tolerate it. You know, that little soundbite right there where she was telling you you, you had to get it, uh, get it out of there that she was going to have you ejected it was reminiscent of some of those things we've seen on college precisely yes exactly how dare you disagree with us this is an interesting point the nonsense you see happening on college campuses is now going to the higher level it's very troubling some would argue that conservatives are in the minority here in the silicon valley but that didn't stop political science junior Ken Del Valle from launching a Turning Point USA chapter at San Jose State. I, I created the chapter here, uh, the Turning Point USA chapter in San Jose, by contacting Turning Point because I couldn't find any conservative outlets in San Jose State. Within a couple weeks, I think they reached back at me and they just said, um, hey, we're interested to have you lead a chapter there. And that's pretty much how I got started. So you are conservative forever no like what how were you brought up where were you so brought? i was born and raised in puerto rico my parents were conservative uh conservative values that's how i was brought up but i never really thought too much into it especially in puerto rico the politics are discussed a little bit different there being that it's a, a territory and when i got to college that shifted and i think up until recently when i started questioning certain things, then I started seeing that my views actually aligned with things that I didn't think they did in the first place. So the group meetings, we try to pick a topic and start from there. Uh, and we just have different, that everyone at the meeting express their, what they know or they don't know or they're concerned about in relation to that topic. There's like black and black crime, and then like the whites are actually the ones that get killed the most. Um, a lot of the factors is it's like women, like it's it's not women's fault that they get pregnant and all that. And like, like they shouldn't feel bad for wanting to like do that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah cause it's just like the more time that you um, take off of work, the less that you're gonna get paid because like your, your skills aren't gonna be there mm -hmm. as they were anymore. Denise? And the gentleman, you guys got, you guys haven't said anything. I'm just kind of absorbing. Yeah, absorbing. Yeah. Denise, what you got to say? Just listening. Just listening. <laughs> I agree with a lot of your points, though. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I just do. I disagree with a lot of your points, though. Okay, why? Well, I mean, if we're talking about race, like, I mean, where do I want to jump off of? You know what? No, just give me. That's good. I mean, that's good, because that's what we're here for. Like, we're here to accept all yeah, the like, you know? Yeah, like, no, 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 but like, I just don't like being pandered to. Ban pander? Yeah, like I just don't like it. Yeah, like that's what we're against. Yeah. Yeah. So. So wait. So what do you not agree with? It's um. What are you guys talking about? I was just like, damn, right. Pandering to the black community is like the most disgusting thing. Like, yeah, which is exactly what that, that's it's what we're saying that the black. left is doing. Yeah, yeah. it's like why why are black people any different than Asian people than white people? Like, like we're all know? people, right? Yeah. Like, why 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 are we just uh? Well, why are we just trying to like? make it seem like we're helping one group more because like, it'll look it'll make us look better so that we can get more votes it, that's Virtue essentially signal. what it is Virtue yeah signal. and i and i don't like how in the black community there's like this this victimhood we contacted will Witt by reaching out to turning point and having them request him because uh, he's he's usually a spokesperson for a prager youth and they got in contact with will Witt and we're able to just have him come over 
what is going on. So where are we going, Ken? Where? Where are we going? Right now? Yeah. McDonald's. Oh, this is like way closer. Why are we going to McDonald's? Because Will with his fly got delayed like three times. And um, he's just hungry. All right. I'm being so clumsy today. Hey, buddy. Hey, um, I'll be there closer to 40. Uh, but we'll be there. 640? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, just, so? just so that you yeah, know. We're, we're almost set up. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we, I think this should be good. We got a little hill back with traffic and stuff, but we'll we'll be there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. All All right. right. I'll see you then. See ya. Bye. Sweet. That's me and Will, the girlfriend. It's a big responsibility. Not really. <laughs> How are you, man? Oh, here's your food. Thank you so much. So it was, it was a little bit uh, surreal because you, here you have somebody who is a, a pretty famous on on the Instagram sphere, and there he is eating some McDonald's and just chilling and cracking a few jokes and talking about the flight just like anybody else would. This is the content you want for your newspaper. <laughs> Me eating McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Oh man. Good to see you, man. Yeah, yeah, good to see you. Um, did you get my uh, text? Uh, I've been rushing, so I haven't. Yeah, yeah. Hey, see ya. Hey, see ya. Hey, see ya. Hey, see ya. We're gonna go ask people what they think about him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> this is Wilway with Prager you. <laughs> So you got your you got your script ready? I don't I don't ever use a script. It's just a few notes. Yeah. People who read off of a script, are, yeah, that's lame. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, is he reading off a script? We went to what was it Shapiro, mm -hmm. and they had some music there. I'm like, I don't know if they would approve of this. Or no, or Ben Shapiro would approve of this. And and then, and then, and then he was and then he was telling me you're thinking too much of it. I'm like, you gotta think of it. What if he he may like it, but he may not. Sure, he may not. Put the hair straight. Like, I don't know. I'm a fan. I I have a cat. I have a cat. I don't have dog hair on you. Yeah, but your dog is not like shaggy. Sorry, no. No, he ain't. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm going. Did you just go like? I know, because I, know, I think I'm going to leave And I decided to grow like the weirdest <laughs> I should not think from all of them. Don't do that. I could. Ah. Alright, before you go out, what do you expect from San Jose? Excellence. excellence. Not perfection, but excellence. That's what we aim for. You want to give me a quote? Sushi is for women. You just want to buy the... Just back on the podium, I guess. Sounds like it. Alright, go. 
So that's where it's just called Lincoln. Yeah, Lincoln yeah. at the best. The best. Okay. During his administration, he, like, what is it called? Okay, he's like removed a bunch of immigrants here, like the most in his administration. But the reason why it's not. Good evening and welcome to tonight's event. If you would have told me a couple of years ago that I was going to be uh, leading a event, a political event of sorts, I would have chuckled and uh, if you would have told me it was conservative, I would have just straight up laughed at you. <laughs> Uh, I've changed a lot in the last couple of years, and it started when I, when I began questioning what universities were telling me uh, to, to heed or to listen to or to not listen to. With that being said, I want to welcome the man of the hour, Will Witt. What's up, guys? How's everyone doing? Really excited to be here. I was in San Jose not too long ago. Some of you guys might remember if you were, thank you. Some of you guys might remember if you were at the courthouse for when we were suing YouTube, which was a very big deal. Yep, a few of you guys, yep, there you go. Talk a little bit about that later. I wanna talk about climate change because this is one of the things that leftists will really bring up. I mean, Greta Thunberg, how dare you, is a, a huge deal right now in America. Whether you think it's real, whether you think it's fake, whether you think it's not that big of a deal, no matter what you think about it, the government is not the one to solve any of these issues when it comes to climate change. Okay. The left cares more about what is going on with illegal immigrants and actual people who, who live in this country, who were born in this country. To me, that is an absolutely horrible thing. Men don't talk about abortion enough. Right now, the left has convinced a lot of men that because you don't have a uterus, you have no right to talk about abortion. But if you know anything about biology, it takes a man and a woman to actually make a baby, right? But in all seriousness, you know, men are becoming much more feminine, they're not acting like men. This is a, a horrible thing that is happening. And so what we have to do as men is look to actual masculine ideology to guide us throughout our lives. You guys see all this Trump stuff and you know the Ukraine and the impeachment stuff. Like you guys ask me a question about that, I don't even know what's going on, to be honest. Like I So now we're doing Q and A. No Q and A. And dude, like, be black masculine is dropping, like, down. Like. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I gotta bring All right. Ladies, man. Good to do it here. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep asking women out, my guy. Just keep <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me how to go. I well, I mean, that was. I thought it was really interesting. He said a lot of things that really got me thinking. A lot of different opinions in the crowd, so I was really digging it. Really happy for it. So it went well? Yeah, I would say yeah. I would say so. I love it. Thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I was I was happy that you had people there who agreed and then some people that didn't and I was happy to see the discourse. That's exactly that was my goal from the beginning, to have people who have different ideas, hear each other out. And yeah, I just I had a lot of uh, I was really proud of that. Thank you.